Okay, well, nothing too exciting with the cat. Had her all freaked out. Anyways, uh, working on this roof here, and I just wanted to show you uh, weathering type things, techniques that I use. Uh, you know, this has just got that gray wash on it, dark black kind of light wash over top of uh, coffee stir sticks. You know, the little, they got around. Coffee stir sticks uh, causes it to warp. That's that's really cool. It'd be nice if a guy takes a, a, a wire brush wheel and just and it and it'll well it'll give it a nice you know aged look. Same thing with these shingles. Press the wrong button there. Anyways, these shingles. Uh, same thing with them. Now I've let's see if we can't get this to focus on one of these little guys. It's kind of hard to tell. Anyways, I'll just show you. And see, the, this one here is, I, I cut them with scissors as I was doing it. I was just using scrap pieces of wood. Now some of them actually had, you know, kind of a rough type look to them. And just to break up the pattern, I turned some upside down, okay? And plus I use different bits of wood eh, to do these. So these ones, I mean, that looks pretty good, except for it's, you know, it's straight across. They're new shingles, right? On a weathered type roof like this, you can't have really new ones, okay? So I take, you know, this is a bunch of uh, guitar wires, spring steel wire, really tough. Uh, made basically a distressor type thing, eh? And I need to tighten this up just a bit bit here. You slide your tube down the end of it here. I don't, I don't know if this is going to show up. So basically what I'm doing is I'm going just down on the tip and wearing it through so that they've got you know, it's not just a straight you can go up the other way too eh? but it sometimes peels or you know puts in your eye so it's probably safer to go down Now you can do this with the holes. Well, no, you can't. You have to basically do it like this. If you really want it to look good, you know, you've got to spend several hours doing this. That's why, uh, you know, detailing, you know, like when, it, when a person is buying terrain or getting terrain made for them or something, you know, you have to, how realistic do you want it, you know? Because I could do this for oh man, a couple of couple three four hours worth of, of doing this on each of these just to weather them all to look right. Hey, that way when you you know you take a picture of it up in the up in the sky when you take a picture of it it'll it'll you know it'll look quite quite realistic. Hey, so just wanted to show you that you can probably speed it up with a, a really stiff wire wheel on a drill the Dremel ones I haven't you know I haven't been able to find a wire brush for my Dremel that is stiff enough to be able to do stuff like this now it'll work good on lightweight type things eh but you know it's just and then the the, the bristles are are too small so they you know they don't give the same rough effect eh so you know, you need one of those big, pretty much a, a one inch industrial three eighths type drill. And then, you know, it might just fly these things right off on you. Eh? That's why using a, a little distressor, you know, and doing it by hand will give you a little bit better of effect. I need to do something with this roof here too. Yeah, but right now I think I'm going to work on the doors for this. So, 
I'm probably just going to use more of these and make one standing, you know, have the boards going up. This one here I was, I don't know, should almost make the door so that they're broken. Have one lying down here, broken off. Maybe the other one's still in place. I haven't decided yet whether or not I'm going to uh, have them operational or not. You know, actually working. And then I think I might make myself a little block and tackle type thing to hang off this post here. That's still there. Get some rope, because that'll be a nice effect. This doesn't come off, so it'll be a nice, you know, little bit of detailing type effect. Staple a, a ring of barbed wire to the side of the... What's this? Well, this... Uh, off kilter. Off kilter production. Way too close. Be back. I like how uh, 40k Chaos Lord starts all his videos. Hey YouTube. <laughs> That's great, man. <laughs> yeah, don't change that. That's great. Anyways. Hey YouTube. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Uh, I'm doing the little door up on top here, so I'm I'm just going to use uh, as if you made it out of plywood sheets. So I, mean, I cut these with a table saw. If you know somebody with a table saw, give them an old piece of two by four and say, Hey, can you cut this all all up, rip it up into like you know a bunch of little pieces? Because that's all this is, is you just take a scrap piece of 2x4, eh, which you can find anywhere, cut off the outside edges, and then you've got some nice weathered wood already, and then rip the rest up into, you know, little strips. Eh? doesn't take that long, but you do need a table saw. So I've cut these a little bit too big, of course. So I'm trying to think of... I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to probably take, you know, more of these popsicle sticks and just do it around the outside as if a piece of plywood was framed or something. A little bit thick, so I'm just going to have to rip one of these in half or something. Find some thinner type strip wood. Like, I save all this stuff, man. I don't know where I got this, but this has been outside for a neon, you can tell it's all that dirty gray. Oh, way too far back. That'll work. I will use that. Now to find metal. So, today is the 19th. Monday the 19th. Today is the most depressing down low day of the year, of last year, probably ever. That's insane, eh? It's funny how uh, man is the only ones that recognize Monday as a crappy day. <laughs> Animals don't do that. Animals don't recognize Mondays as bad days.